Hi guys, my name's Tamara and I've just finished doing my English with Creative Writing degree at the University of Nottingham. Today I'm going to give you a little year one survival guide type thing in video form and we're going to go around the Portland building and all the various buildings that you'll need to know and it'll just be a nice little day out. So first years pretty much always live on campus but second and third years tend to live off. So I live in Lenton but I live right at the bottom of Lenton so it's easy walking distance to campus. I'm here. If you want to pause this and read it, it is quite interesting. I'm at Lakeside Arts and here they have theatre productions, they have galleries. Sometimes for poetry seminars we would come here and look at the art and then feel inspired before writing some poetry. Doggos, there's dogs everywhere. Hello. Hello. This is the gorgeous lake. Obviously, absolutely right next to Lakeside Arts. Hire boats to go on the lake. How cute! Three years of dinner, and I still haven't done that. That is our English building. Literal perspective shot. Okay, so just a little tip. Never feed ducks bread. They can't digest it and it creates like fungi in the water, which obviously isn't good for them either. So always feed them seeds and things. You can buy them down at Lakeside Arts. But yeah, never feed the ducks bread. Oh, dog number 500. Sometimes I just love coming to like sit here and doing some reading. I just love that there is so much field everywhere. So a bit of advice, on this campus you do need good shoes because when I first came here I used to wear heeled boots everywhere all the time and honestly after the first week I was like I can't do this, I'm going to drop out, get some trainers, invest. And this is the trend building, this is your home, this is where the School of English is based and where all your lecturers are and yeah, let me show you around. So here we have some lecturers in their natural habitat. Good afternoon. <laughs> and now I'm going to take you to the theatre studio. Ooh. So yeah, we're going to the theatre studio, which is one of my favourite places in this building because I spent so much time in there during my degree. Ooh, it's very dark and spooky. Ta-da! This is one of the drama studios. So for some theatre modules, you have a little bit of theory and a little bit of practical. So this is the perfect room for that because you do all your practical in here. And then all your theory in there, that little dark place with the lecture steps and the whiteboard. And then if you just exit the theatre studio, there is Trend Cafe, which is exclusive to Trend Building. Super handy if you're just picking up a little sandwich if you're on the go in between seminars and things. So I'm going to show you around there. So behind me is Trent Cafe and if I twizzle around, that is the lake. And it's just so beautiful. Every day after theatre we would come out here, sit on the benches, have a bit of lunch. And it's just the nicest thing. Now I'm going to take you to the Portland building which is where the student union is and where most of the food outlets are and where you can go and get a little bit of a shop done and there's also a boots there as well, there's also a bookshop there so I'm going to take you there now. And here we are, we've made it to the Portland building. Here we've got the little shopping zone, we have a bookshop over there, we have clothes shop over here with the University of Nottingham merch and we have Portland coffee right down there. So Blackwells do little bundles and they're literally done by your lecturer and so every book that your lecturer wants you to read will be in this bundle for less money than you should be able to find online but if you do find it cheaper online then they always price match. Now we're in Portland Coffee and Portland Coffee is a really nice place to come and relax or study. It's just got a really nice vibe and I'll show you around now. Okay 
so here we're still in the Portland building. Over there we have boots, over there we have spa. And now we're just up the stairs. Here you've got student services to help you with all of your random needs. And here we've got the student union and the welcome zone. Upstairs you've got your careers service. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs to the food court and here you can see all the different things we've got. Here we are. So it's pretty empty right now because it's like five o'clock, but we've got lots of different outlets here and there's a little terrace at the end overlooking the lake. <laughs> there we've got Chicken Joe's, which does like chicken wraps and things. There we've got pizza and burgers. Here we've got Caribbean food, Starbucks over here, and Chinese food over there. Remember, if you're in first year as well, you probably will have a food card if you're in catered accommodation. All halls on campus are catered, so you'll probably have a food card, and that gives you around five pounds 20, 20, five pounds 40 or something a day to spend in any of these outlets on campus. Outside we've got this little terrace and there's a big screen over there which sometimes they put on like football games and things and everyone sits here, it's really nice. In the Portland building we also have a Santander which is super handy because there's also a cash machine, there's another cash machine down there too but I guess it's super handy to have a bank on campus especially if you've got a Santander account. Just a little bit off the Portland building we've got the Nottingham New Theatre and just for reference that's the Trent building so it's all very very close that's the Portland building. So that's the Nottingham New Theatre which was the first fully run student-led theatre in the UK in England so that means students do behind the scenes lighting, producing, directing, acting, everything. Now I'm going to take you to the library because this is somewhere that you will spend a lot of time and this library is called Hallwood Library. We do have a number of libraries on campus but the Hallwood Library is all that you'll probably get your books out from. So that is it for now. That's the Trent Building, the Portland Building, Hallwood Library, Nottingham New Theatre, Lakeside Arts, the Lake. To be honest, there aren't really that many other main places that you would need and apart from a few odd random lectures, you would really be around the buildings that I've shown you. That's your little introduction to a life doing an English degree. Bye!